got to pick a weed. Well, friends, it's one of the most wonderful times of the year because it's Hosta Fest here at the Parsonage. You know that Pastor Kathy and I, we love these hostas and they bloom like crazy for a while. Then later on in the summer, the deer eat them and we're heartbroken. Hopefully, our Devo today from Christ Covenant Church in Harleysville, where Pastor Kathy and I are co-pastors, that church that's right there, hopefully that the Devo today won't be heartbreaking, but will be encouraging for you. Uh, I'm reading from the upper room, and you know, during Lent, uh, we were working through that Good Enough uh, book and some of those Devos, which were really great, uh, but now we're branching back off into some of the other things that we've used for our occasional devotionals. Our author today is Megan Anderson. Megan Anderson from Indiana. And this is, again, Tuesday, May 3rd. Uh, her title is Spiritual Clutter. Hey, we just had a rummage sale to get rid of some of our other clutter. Let's see what she has to say about spiritual clutter. Her text for today is Jeremiah 4, 14 through 18. And I've got the key verse here for her, which is verse 14. She, uh, it says, O Jerusalem, wash your heart clean of wickedness so that you may be saved. How long shall your evil schemes lodge within you? Wow. The apartment building I had lived in for four years closed. As my neighbors and I began to move out, I marveled at the amount of stuff people had been able to fit into their apartments. My own quarters had been pretty bare, but there was always plenty of room for the regular stream of friends coming in and uh, to visit. Had I accumulated more things, there would not have been enough space for all of the shared meals, impromptu dancing, and games of charades with those I cared about. Though I'm not an avid collector of material possessions, I do have a tendency to store up unnecessary and even dangerous things in my heart. Grudges harsh words, hypocritical thoughts, and bad attitudes. My heart can become so disorderly that there's little room left for God or other people. Unless I give the Holy Spirit complete freedom to remove everything that isn't valuable, I will remain isolated in the cramped confines of spiritual clutter. God longs to live close to us, to share the space of our lives so we can enjoy intimacy with God and with one another. Cleaning the junk out of our hearts can be difficult, but when we do, we open ourselves to experiencing life as God meant it to be. And here she prays, and I will pray as well uh, after that. Uh, Dear God, thank you for loving us enough to enter our messy hearts and clear space for eternal life, she also has a prayer focus for people who have lost their housing. And so, God, we pray for those people that are without homes right now. And, uh, you know, among other things, we think of the situation of the uh, illegal and ir immoral Russian invasion of the Ukraine displacing millions of people. We know that there are displaced persons all around the world. Uh, uh, Pastor Kathy and I, we've worked with displaced persons before and homeless people. And we know that many of, uh, of those watching this have also uh, been involved in ministries to and for and with the homeless. And so we pray for that. God, we... Oh, FedEx truck is stopping here. I'm not sure why. So God, we pray for uh, we pray for today uh, for a lack of distractions of which I just evidenced a big distraction. We pray for a focus. We pray for your guidance in our hearts, and in our lives, in our church, in our country, in our world, and we pray to have our spiritual clutter uh, released. And so we th thank you for that. I think the FedEx guy is coming here, so I'm just going to finish with a couple notes real quick. Hey, we've got a staff meeting today. Pray for that. We've got a leadership team meeting tonight. Pray for that. Friday night light on Friday. And, of course, uh, we've got Sunday school for adults, kids, and youth group on Sunday as well. So I'm going to close this up because the FedEx guy is right there, and it looks like he's coming on down. So, friends, be blessed and be a blessing.